Hey everyone, this is Oren. Uh, whether you're coming from my website or you just found me on YouTube, welcome and thank you for taking the time to check out some of the stuff that I've done while working at Solo. So let's jump right into it here. Uh, this is the customer page. This is where a proposalist goes when they pick up a job out of our queue. Uh, and then they'll come over here into proposals and create a new proposal right here, kind of in the right. Uh, We've already got a job made, so I'm just going to jump into that. Uh, so here we go. So this is um, the proposal admin, as we call it. Uh, a lot of this information is supplied to us by the sales rep when they create the customer, like how much power the, the customer will use in a year. Then a lot of other stuff is that we use to generate this proposal is just specified by the company that's the same for all of their, uh, all of their customers. So I'm going to kind of jump into the main part that I've worked on a lot. Everything I'm showing here is stuff that I've personally worked on a lot. Uh, and where it's not, then I'll say, um, I'll, I'll notify. So this is the solar design tool. Let me just restart here. Uh, we have an auto save. Um, and I already created a proposal on top of this, but we're just going to go ahead and overwrite it. So. First step that our proposals will do is choose a module. You kind of see down here in the right, lower right part of the screen, uh, there's the stepper. And this is all the steps the proposals needs to go through to create a um, proposal for a sales rep. So this is step one. Uh, usually there would be a bunch of text here about what kind of module they need to choose and where based on you know location and sales reps, uh, what the sales rep would prefer. This is a demo company, so we don't have that plugged in. So that's why this is blank. Uh, but you can go ahead, choose your module, hit next. Now all the modules are different sizes, and so it's important too to note that uh, like this is actually a um, accurately scaled representation. And so uh, it's important to choose the correct module. Otherwise, if you try to put a different module on there, obviously it won't fit. So I. Uh, this is just a satellite image that we get from Google. We can also get images from other places, so like NearMap is one. Uh, if for some reason the company wants to design on a quote unquote CRISPR image, uh, you can see this one actually has some a uh, little better definition in some places. Most of our customers don't care. They think this Google image is just great. Uh, so we get this image from Google. We also get some other really neat uh, data from Google. So Two in particular are we get a mask of all the roofs and um, solar radiance data. So this is kind of an overlay of the solar radiance data. We get radiance data for the whole area, but then we also get kind of almost like a cardboard cutout thing of all of the all of the places in the picture that are actually part of the house. So we get a mask. Uh, and then we use that mask and the solar radiance data and the satellite imagery to create this that we're looking at right here. And so this is essentially just a visual tool for sales reps to explain to customers and for proposal, proposals to double check um, to see which parts of the roof are going to produce more power. So um, really useful when there's like trees or an obstruction, like down here, you can see that this is casting some shade onto the roof, whatever this, it looks like some kind of a swamp cooler is. Uh, so the proposals can take that into note, help us get more accurate numbers. And then also a sales rep can say, hey, look, you know, like your, your, su your southern parts of your roof are gonna produce way, way, way more power than your northern parts. And more, and your southern is gonna produce more than your east and west, but your east and can be pretty similar. Anyways, I could talk about it for a while, <laughs> about some really small details. I'm a huge nerd over a lot of this stuff, but uh, just moving on. So you'll notice, too, that we use, we also get another data set uh, it's called the Digital Surface Map, DSM. It's essentially like a, a cluster of 3D points representing this entire area. And uh, so we can use that to extract some pretty useful information. So kind of let, let me show you this. So you notice my uh, cursor, it's right here towards the center of the screen. When I move it towards the house, once I get onto the roof, then it goes from being a crosshairs to a pointer. Essentially what that's telling the proposals is, hey, you can click here. Uh, this is part of a roof. So if they click on it, 
click on this section of the roof that we want to place panels on, then we will use that 3D data to automatically zoom in, square up, and grab the azimuth and pitch information about that roof plane. So you'll see here to the right, uh, this is the array that we're currently working on. We, it's got an azimuth 91 degrees, a pitch 27 degrees. So now the proposed list will just drag and place these panels on the roof. Now uh, they need to make sure they're not overlapping any obstructions so they can hit this G keyboard shortcut, goes into a glass view, and they can punch out these panels that are going to uh, going to be over on top of obstructions. So now that they're done with that array, they can hit enter. It'll bring them back out to this view of the house. They can select a different roof plane and do the same thing. Oops, if they if they do like I did, accidentally hit enter, they just click on the cluster panels and it'll bring them to the right array. Uh, and then go ahead and bust these out. I'm not gonna take too much more time, just kind of doing this tedious. Uh, so, and then in addition, sometimes uh, the data is not 100% correct. And so they can make very small adjustments. Uh, like you'll see now that we've put panels here, we can see this one is actually a little skewed. Um, looks like it was skewed about a degree and a half. So they can just kind of bump that over, make it all nice and straight. So, uh, so that's the place panels portion of um, the job. Now the next step is they need to activate to a specific offset. So if you look down here in the bottom right, they hit this next button. Now uh, we, we want to put panels everywhere on the roof where they'll fit, but uh, no one's going to want to buy that system. And so what we do is, is all of our companies have a specific offset that they want us to hit. Uh, this one is like 20%, something like that. Uh, so pretty much we're going to fit as many panels on the roof that we can in case the sales rep wants to activate them, but we're not going to, uh, we're not going to send them all activated because that's not what the sales rep is going to want or the company is going to want. So we've developed this um, intelligent algorithm that will look at this layout of panels. And as soon as the proposal sits next, it'll look at this um, layout of panels and determine which ones are going to be more and less efficient and you can see by switching on the sunlight data that it's kind of hard to see now because there's panels on top of it but this array these green panels were definitely the most efficient and so we can turn these this array on and be really close to um, the desired offset and turn the rest of them off that way the proposal doesn't have to like even fiddle with it hardly at all they just flip that switch, it says this is a good layout, let's go with this. So, uh, but if they did, for some reason, need to turn them on, they can just click on them, turn panels on and off, and you can see this offset over here in the right, kind of uh, center right, um, will adjust as they toggle panels on and off. So, so now they've got this activated to the right offset, they can hit next and select an inverter. Uh, so there's lots of different kinds of inverters. We, we've built this system that will check in the background to make sure that the inverter they're selecting is the most efficient inverter or is compatible with the system that they've designed. So like for this one example, this is not a good inverter, it's too big. And so as soon as they hit this auto fix button, it'll just lock it into place. This is the correct inverter. Um, so then the next step is to just save the design. Uh, we call it the save screenshot for backwards compatibility reasons. Uh, stuff happened long before I ever was at Solo, but I just hit this button, it'll save. Give it just a moment to save. And we're good. So now we can come down here and hit refresh. And you can see that solar design that we built with these activated panels. Now, so the sales rep, like I was saying, sales rep can show this uh, radiance data map to customers to explain to them, hey, you know, these parts are going to produce more power than others. That's why we want to put panels here. Uh, you know, just a consumer confidence thing. 
uh, and then say that the sales rep or the the customer wants to uh, wants maybe a larger or smaller system. So the sales rep can hit this edit button here, kind of towards the right of the proposal. Uh, it'll bring up this view, and now they can they can toggle that sunlight on and off, and uh, they can click these panels and turn them on. And while they're doing this, it'll actually rerun those calculations in the background to say, hey, we're going to produce, uh, you know, over a year, this system will produce 67% of the power that your household uses. And so they can toggle these on and off. Maybe they want 100% offset. So this, this system right here would produce all the power that this uh, family is going to use in their home throughout the course of the entire year. Um, obviously, usually they're on an iPad, so they kind of pinch to zoom in and out, and they can uh, scroll around, uh, do all that stuff. If they get lost, they can hit this home button, and it squares them up. Uh, tons of just little tiny useful features in this. Um, so then when they're done, they can hit that save button. And as you can see, that design is reflected on this uh, satellite image of their house. It's so pretty neat. Um, and like I said, all of the, all of the uh, offset information is automatically calculated. So this is some stuff that I've kind of worked on, but not a ton. The stuff I'm about to talk about is like this. Uh, we, we, we integrate with uh, financing partners and things like that. So we can tell a customer, you know, how much, if they finance, how much their monthly bill is going to be, how much they're going to save over 25 years. Uh, they can even check right on the proposal to see if they can get financing so they don't even have to go anywhere else. They just hit a button and punch in their SS number and can see whether or not they get financing as well as uh, see how the, how the tax credits will affect them. So uh, pretty neat, pretty neat little system. Feel free to check it out. Like I said, I will put uh, put the link in the description slash on my portfolio website. Uh, and keep in mind that so the the background tool that I showed you where you did the design, and then this whole area, this second page with this is the majority of what I've worked on. Uh, thank you for your time and goodbye.